trainers. Which one of these Pokemon is the best choice to battle Mudkip? Okay, trainers, if you chose Plusle, you were right. <laughs> this is Trainer's Choice, and as you can see, it's sometimes wrong. I mean, both Plusle and Roselia are super effective on Mudkip, while Roselia also resists Mudkip. So because of this, Roselia would be the best pick. But that still doesn't answer the question, what is Trainer's Choice? Well, it was introduced into the Pokemon anime in Generation 3, precisely about 40 episodes into the Advanced Challenge series, and ran on till episode 145 of Advanced Generations. Player's Choice is kind of like the Generation 3 version of Who's That Pokemon, but with a little bit of Pokemon trivia sprinkled in. Trainer's Choice also serves as a break about halfway through a Pokemon anime episode to transition to more traditional ads. While Trainer's Choice only stayed for a short period of time, it quickly became an example of Pokemon mistakes. Speaking of mistakes, let's get into some more right now. Trainers, which one of these Pokemon is the best choice to battle ship trees? Okay Trainers, if you chose Torkoal, you were right! Torkoal! Both Torkoal and Taillo are super effective, so they are both equal choices to this question. So there really isn't a right one, as you could go for both of them. Trainers, which one of these Pokemon is the best choice to battle Curlia? Okay trainers, if you chose Combuskin, you were right! Combuskin! Combuskin is the only one weak to Psychic, so it's actually the worst choice, while Togetic and Graveler are both neutral. Pokemon is the best choice to battle Foratris. Okay, trainers, if you chose Seviper, you were right. Fortress, because he's a steel type, he's immune to poison, so it'd actually be the worst choice in this scenario. Trainers, which one of these Pokemon is the best choice to battle C Dot? Okay, trainers, if you chose Surskit, you were right. Surskit. While the bug typing of Surskit is super effective on it, both of Delibird's types are super effective on it. And on top of that, Delibird actually resists grass. Because of this, obviously Delibird would be the choice to go with. Trainers, which one of these Pokemon is the best choice to battle Manectric? Okay trainers, if you chose Larvitar, you were right! Larvitar! Swamper is super effective and immune to all of Manectric's electric type attacks. Trainers, which one of these Pokemon is the best choice to battle Wooper? Okay, trainers, if you chose Sfeel, you were right. Sfeel! While Sfeel is a great choice because it resists the water moves of Wooper, Zubat, however, is immune to Wooper's ground type attacks. Trainers, which one of these Pokemon is the best choice to battle Okay trainers, if you chose Onyx, you were right! While the answer itself is actually right, they misspelled Onyx. It's spelled with an I instead of a Y. Trainers, which one of these Pokemon is the best choice to battle Metatite? Okay trainers, if you chose Combuskin, you were right! Combuskin! This, this is not a Nuzleaf, it's a Beautifly. And if you're watching this and somehow don't know who Nuzleaf is, here's Nuzleaf. But going back to the matchup, Combuskin is actually weak to Psychic. Beautifly, or in this case Nuzleaf, is flying so it's super effective on the fighting type of Metatite. And it also four times resisted. If Nuzleaf were there, instead of Beautifly, it would be a different story. But for now, the answer is Beautifly. Which one of these Pokemon evolves into Surviper? Okay trainers, if you chose Arbok, you were right! Chalk. This is of course incorrect, as Surviper clearly doesn't evolve. And of course we have Arbok, which evolves from Ekans, but does not evolve himself. Trainers, which one of these Pokemon is the best choice to battle Ludicolo? Okay trainers, if you chose Camerupt, you were right! Camerupt is literally four times weak to water. Either of the other choices are neutral, so just go with one of those. Trainers, which one of these Pokemon is the best choice to battle Tyro? 
Okay, trainers, if you chose Explode, you were right. Explode. Exploud is really weak to fighting, so obviously it's wrong. The clear choice here would be Dustox because of his four times resistance. Trainers, which one of these Pokemon is the best choice to battle Magby? Okay, trainers, if you chose Lombre, you were right. Lombre. While Lombre is super effective on Magby, Solrock would be better because he's not only super effective but also resistant to Magby. Which one of these Pokemon is the best choice to battle Baltoy? Okay, trainers, if you chose Lapras, you were right. All of these are super effective on Baltoy. While Lapras is super effective with both of its types, Lydian is super effective with one, but immune with the other. So you really can't go wrong with either Lapras or Lydian. Trainers, which one of these Pokemon is the best choice to battle Spoink? Okay, trainers, if you chose Makuhita, you were right. Makuhita! Makuhita is weak to Spoint's psychic attacks, as is Quillfish, so Swamper is the only correct answer. Trainers, which one of these Pokemon is the best choice to battle Flaffy? Much like Onyx, Flaffy is misspelled. There are actually three Fs in the name and not two. Trainers, which Pokemon would be most effective against Fluffle and Minus? Mudkip, you were right. Mudkip. Mudkip is weak to the electric type, while Grass resisted. Because of that, Trico would be the best option. Trainers, which of these Pokemon is not a normal type? Once again, they misspelled Flaffy's name. There are two Fs on the end, not just one. Trainers, which Pokemon would last longest against a psychic attack? Okay, trainers, if you chose Teddy Ursa, you were right. Teddy Ursa. Puchian has the obvious choice here, as it's immune to psychic type attacks because it's a dark type. The other two are hit neutrally by psychic type moves. Trainers, which of these Pokemon? Again, really? A third time? Trainers, which Pokemon is super effective against its own type? Okay, trainers, if you chose Salamence, you were right. <laughs> While Salamence is the right answer because Dragon is super effective on Salamence, Graveler being a rock and ground type is also super effective on itself with its ground moves. Trainers, if Arcanine fought Curlia, who would have the advantage? Okay, trainers, if you chose Arcanine, you were right. This is obviously filmed and aired during the Generation 3 era of Pokemon, long before Gen 6 ever came out, and the fairy type was even thought of to be introduced. If it would have aired after Generation 6, then the answer would be Arcanine, because fairy moves aren't super effective on fire types. But for the sake of this video, the answer is neither. While there are plenty of mistakes in Trainer's Choice, for the most part, they are correct. I mean, I'm pretty sure they had to be in order for them to air on live TV. However, some of them just slipped through the cracks. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to see me point out some mistakes and who's that Pokemon, make sure to comment down below. But that's all for now, and I'll see you in the next video.